But what I want to say is this also. I saw a little while ago, earlier today, that the United States House of Representatives elected a Speaker of the House, Mike Johnson, right, Mike Johnson? Mike Johnson, Speaker Johnson, who was born and grew up about two and a half hours away from our Speaker. In Shreveport, Louisiana is where he's from. And so I say this to Speaker Johnson, I listened to you, I listened to your remarks today. You said immigration, doing something about illegal immigration was important. I have news for you, Mr. Speaker. You have the majority. You can do something. You can pass legislation. This legislation, and everybody in here knows this, this issue must be addressed by the United States Congress, by the United States Senate, and by the President of the United States of America. But they haven't done it. They haven't really done it since Ronald Reagan was president. A lot of you like Ronald Reagan, remember him? They passed a bill in 1986 passed and signed by a Republican president, but since then we haven't had, and we've had Democratic and Republican presidents. And so two of our former members, Pat Fallon and Randy Weber, are members of the United States House. Randy, Pat, talk to the new speaker, talk to your majority, pass legislation, because that's where it needs to come from, and you can do it. Because the fact is, in the United States, 90%, or I'll pull a Donald Trump, 97%, of all the people who come into this country illegally come here because United States citizens are giving them jobs. And if, and I'll, if I asked every one of you individually, I'm willing to bet that every one of you knows someone who has hired someone who is here illegally. I'm guessing maybe even some, some of you have, but at least I know that you all know someone who's done that. And you do it because you need that labor. So the United States Congress can pass a bill and the president can sign a bill that says, let's expand the worker visa program. Let people come in here and work legally because we need them. So many of your supporters, so many of the people that we represent need that labor force because United States citizens either can't do those jobs or won't do those jobs. That's the driving issue here. But the Congress, then they don't do anything. But I know they will now with Speaker Johnson. We're calling on you, Speaker Johnson. But they haven't done anything, and so this political pressure emerges that something's got to be done here at the state level. And so we have these unartfully written bills that do have unintended consequences that I don't believe are going to work well.